Hello everyone, my name is Walter Rowe and I'm a Capture One affiliate. And today I want to illustrate migrating Lightroom catalogs into Capture One catalogs. For the purpose of this illustration, I'm going to focus on a single folder. I'm going to use this folder called Camden. This is my Lightroom catalog. I'm using the latest Lightroom Creative Cloud, uh, the classic version. Here I'm showing you a text of the outline for this video. If you want to pause and read through this or come back and refer to it later, I, I created this to help me better explain the process and also for you to have later as a reference. Some particular things I want to point out in preparing and understanding what information gets moved from Lightroom into Capture One. All of your IPTC metadata, location information, creator, things of that nature, all of your keywords, all of your star ratings, those come over. In Lightroom, you have the concept of flags. Flags do not come over. Flags is a Lightroom unique feature. What I recommend you do is filter for all of your flagged images in Lightroom and add a special keyword to them that represents flagged so that when they get imported into Capture One, that special keyword comes over and you retain the information about which images have been flagged in Lightroom. Another notable difference is that Capture One has a different set of color labels. There's some overlap. I have highlighted them in bold text here. The red, yellow, green, blue, and purple colors, if you're using the Lightroom default color labels, will come over, but you must be using the Lightroom default color labels. If you're using a different color label set in Lightroom, the color labels may not come over. Let me go into Lightroom and just demonstrate quickly. Under the metadata menu, there's a color label set. Notice there's bridge default, Lightroom default, and there's review status. You can also edit. Here you'll see the, the Lightroom default, which I had selected, are red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. That's what I've got documented here, red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. These colors, if you use only those colors and the Lightroom default color label set, will come over into Capture One successfully. No other colors will come over successfully. Just a warning about color labels. Okay, so uh, the first, here's at the very top, I have recommended workflow. This is how I recommend one do their migration from Lightroom into Capture One. I migrated about 55,000 images from Lightroom into Capture One, and I followed this and it worked very well. One thing in particular to note is they recommend doing it in batches. Do it in small batches so that you can easily track your progress and know where you left off and where you can pick up again next. Batches also kind of just makes it easier to work, it, it performs very well, and you don't get lost in, in where you are in the process. Some things you'll want to do ahead of time. You'll want to create a working directory where you're going to hold your temporary catalogs. You're going to want to create a new master Capture One catalog. You're going to want to export your keywords from Lightroom and import them into Capture One. This is very helpful to make sure that you preserve the structure of your keywords when they move from Lightroom into Capture One, especially if you have nested keywords. So here on the left, you can see I've created a migrate to C1 uh, directory. And this is going to be where I put my exported Light Word, Lightroom keywords and my temporary catalogs that I use for Capture One and Lightroom. So I'm going to go to Capture One. I'm sorry, I'm going to go to Lightroom. Here I'm going to select the folder Camden. I'm going to export folders catalog. In the pop-up, it's already selected migrate to C1 because I practiced this earlier. You're going to note that, you know what, I didn't export my keywords yet. I'm going to go export my keywords. It's going to say Lightroom Keywords is the default value. It's in my Migrate folder because I practiced this earlier. Save. Okay. Now I'm going to go to Capture One. 
chapter one, I do not yet have my new catalog. So I'm gonna create a new catalog. I'm gonna call this masters. I'm gonna put it in my migrate folder just for illustration purposes. Here is my new empty catalog. Let me go to the metadata tab. You'll notice that my keywords library is empty. I'm going to use import keywords into library from keyword text file. Keywords text file that was created by Lightroom will be imported. This little diamond here opens up and here's all my keywords that came over from Lightroom. If you had nested keywords in Lightroom, they remain their structure and nesting in Capture One, which is what you want. Okay, so this is my master catalog. Now when I go into Lightroom, I'm going to export my Camden folder as a new Lightroom catalog. Notice here I have unchecked export negative files. I do not want to make a copy of my images. I want to leave them where they are. When Capture One imports them, it'll import them by reference. So it'll import them right where they are. So Lightroom and Capture One can point to the exact same file on disk. No point in copying and wasting space. I also uncheck build, include smart previews, and include available previews. Capture One cannot consume these, so I don't bother spending time actually uh, including them in the catalog. This is a temporary catalog. It's only meant to get me into Capture One. So there's no point in including them there because Capture One can't consume them and it just takes more time. So I'm going to name this catalog Camden. It's going to be in my migrate folder. Called it the same name as the uh, folder that the images were in just so I'm easy to track. Okay, notice that went pretty quick because I'm not including any previews or files or smart previews. It goes rather quickly. Let me go to Capture One. Capture One, I'm going to go create a new catalog. This is in the Migrate folder as well. I'm also going to call that Camden. Once again, very easy to track. Very specific workflow here so that I really keep up with where I'm going. Notice there's no images in this uh, catalog. So under the File menu, I'm going to say Import Catalog, Lightroom Catalog. Here this pop-up screen tells you what gets imported from Lightroom into Capture One. Collections and collection sets, crop, rotation, and orientation, white balance, exposure, saturation, and contrast. That's all. Now, your metadata, as I said before, does come over. Your ratings, your star ratings, your color labels, if you're using the Lightroom default color label set, uh, the only thing that doesn't come over is your flags. Your flags will not come over in terms of metadata. Um, but it, once again, if you filter in Lightroom for all of your flagged images, add a special keyword that represents flagged, then that will come over as a keyword when you import it into Capture One. Okay, this is the import dialog. I'm selecting the Camden Lightroom catalog that I had just created. And here we go. Now you can see the pictures are coming in. You can see that the red, yellow, green, blue, purple color labels that I had in uh, Lightroom have come right into Capture One. So the, the color labels were preserved. Notice it says 63 files imported, nothing incompatible, nothing offline or skipped. Perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. So this is our temporary catalog, right? This is the same temporary catalog in Capture One that represented the temporary catalog we created in Lightroom. Here I can validate that my metadata came over properly. I can select a picture. You can see now my, my keywords came over. If I mouse over a keyword such as the city name, I can tell that it's nested by the way the pop-up displays the the nesting of the keywords, so I know that they came over properly. On the bottom in the metadata section, I can see my contact information, my location information. All of this information came over just as I wanted it. Here it's just building the previews. I'll let this finish.
Okay, so we have our temporary catalog. It's built its previews. We validated that the metadata came over. If I wanted to, I could go in, look at the adjustments, go ahead and do the edits for these pictures and get them looking the, exactly the way I want in Capture One. Uh, this would be a good opportunity to kind of learn how to use the editing tools in Capture One. But editing is reserved for a different set of videos, so I'm not going to go into that in this video. I am going to go here and close this window. Now I'm back at my Master Capture One catalog. And in my Master Capture One catalog, once again, I'm going to go to Import Catalog. This time I'm going to choose Capture One catalog. And I'm going to select the Camden Capture One catalog. I expand this window out here and expand the column names. We can see what kind they are. Capture One catalog versus Adobe Lightroom catalog. And choose Import. Now I'm importing my temporary catalog into my master catalog. Previews do not get imported, sadly. Um, so it will go through the process of recreating uh, previews for you. But that's okay. We'll let that do that. Whatever adjustments you've made in your temporary catalog in Capture One will be preserved in your master catalog. So you will not have to go back and readjust your images. If you make all of your adjustments in your temporary Capture One catalogs, those adjustments will come over to your master catalog. One thing to note in the left-hand side are the user collections. In the user collections, you'll see that there's the catalog. This is the name of the, 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 first, the top name will be the name of the catalog that of your temporary catalog that you had imported from Capture One. The second name below happens to be the name of the Lightroom catalog that you had imported. And below there would be the name of the collection sets that you had in Lightroom if your pictures were in collections and collection sets in Lightroom. These little folder icons are called group icons. These are groups. And the bottom level icon uh, looks like um, a little multiple tiles on top of each other. It represents an album. Pictures live in albums. Now here in the folder section, this is my actual disk organization. You can see exactly where on disk these pictures live. If I go back to Lightroom, I can see that it's the exact same organization. Aperture Originals, Professional, Camden. Aperture Originals, Professional, Pet Portraits, Camden. Exact same path, exact same files. So this is a good illustration of how to get your Lightroom catalogs into Capture One and how to do it in small batches so that you can track their progress. There will be other videos where I get into the organization of collections within Capture One, but this video hopefully helps you in the basic mechanics and workflow for getting from Lightroom to Capture One. If you have questions, I welcome them in the, in the comments. Uh, any feedback on the video, I will be happy to test and answer any questions that I can. If you are looking to purchase Capture One, if you're just using a trial, if you're looking to add more features such as style packs, I appreciate you using the links in my uh, profile for YouTube here and use that to you know, get a small referral fee. Thank you.